started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Running again with Barkley on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Play action. Here's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of eight. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. In order to play a really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. They go play action with Hurts. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Throw left side, there's London. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Now second and three. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Cousins here going to change the play. Back to throw now on first down. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he'll get maybe a couple of that up to the 46. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's third and seven. Throwing, Cousins. Got a man, it's London. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. They throw it out right complete. Pass the 20. Front touchdown, Falcons. Kyle Pitts, 48 yards. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And that went into the hands of Brown downfield. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll buy some time right. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. He's got Smith here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. 
Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so... We don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 41, here's a second and eight. On the counter, this is Robinson. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles' 23-yard line. 36 yards on the play. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now Cousins sees something. He's going to change this around. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. And caught by London. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. In motion right is Smith. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. That's caught inside the 20. And marking down the inside the Atlanta 20. They'll get 34 yards there. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. They give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Well, you need your best play here, no doubt. Fourth down and eight. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now Hurts changing up the play. Back to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage and you're also not trying to force it into... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts 
A six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's first and 10. Cousins to throw. London holds this one in. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Here's Cousins. And this will be caught at the 30. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Coup now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. They'll come up first and 10 here. Back to throw. Pass complete, Goddard. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. He's back to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hughes. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there 